Brazil excites one's soul, its beauty dazzling the beholder. The intensity of light and brilliance of color stirs the imagination. Brazil is known for its rich vegetation, vast landscape, and its stunningly beautiful mixed-raced population. The beauty of its people is, well, simply breathtaking. Brazil is a country of stunning beauty manifested by its amazing beaches in the state of Bahia, the sprawling waterfalls in Forte Guaçu, the Amazon, Christ the Redeemer with open arms atop Cocovat Mountain overlooking Rio de Janeiro is perhaps Brazil's greatest landmark. Brazil's news media includes highly professional newspapers, magazines, and the powerful television network Rede Globo de Televisão, home of South America's most aggressive journalists. In recent years, they have investigated banking scandals, environmental abuses, the massacres of Amazon Indians, governmental corruption, and the increasingly aggressive murders of local street children, commonly known as street urchins, who are regarded by wealthy merchants as public nuisances who need to be swept off Rio's streets. The media also expose the infamous Esquadros de Mort, also known as death squads. They are typically made up of off-duty or retired local police officers, who routinely target children in the various favelas around the country, mostly Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo. Brazil is a country which has lost its youth to drugs, violence, and increasingly organized criminal enterprise. The escalating violence testifies to Brazil's struggle as the country seeks to cope with the thousands of children wandering its streets. Forty children are buried each day in Rio de Janeiro. Although a lowball statistic, roughly two children are assassinated daily in Rio alone. As one official admitted, Every day, street children are being murdered by the police. Every day, I hear a different story, a true story, something which actually happened. We are killing more children than anyone can imagine. One case study concluded that a child's chance of dying in Brazil is eight to nine times greater than in the Middle East. Life expectancy on the streets is two to four years. According to the government officials and aggressive media reporting, the extermination of street children continues unabated in the city of Rio de Janeiro and, frankly, throughout the land. The stories and facts of this documentary clearly highlight Brazil's problem. Today, its problem has worsened. Unable to cover even basic family needs, parents in shanty towns or favelas began sending their children into the streets to earn money. Others escaped abusive homes. Uh, one of the numbers that really frightens us is that we are told that 500,000 pre-adolescent girls are forced into prostitution every year. They may be pushed into that by, by a stepfather. It may happen as a, a result of, of a gang in the, the favela. Or it may just be that the culture of the favela is such that the girl herself turns to that. And when you stop and you think about those kind of numbers, that is essentially one child every minute is becoming a prostitute. And these are beautiful little girls, precious, sweet, what you would think was innocent. But uh, we know how their lives turn out. We know that once they enter that lifestyle and once they turn to the streets, that they'll probably only live three to five years. And that's what we're trying to address, and that's what we're trying to, to give them a different, different alternative, to give them another way of life. This is where the story of Philip Smith and Hope Unlimited begins. Philip came to Brazil because he wanted to, to carry on the work that his dad had begun, actually, in Ethiopia. And he had seen the way that that impacted lives, and he had seen where so many of those kids had gone, and how they'd gone on to do great things. And he wanted the same kind of thing to happen for the kids in Brazil. And he came here without any money to start the program, without the hope of an orphanage. And, and in less than two decades, we have three primary campuses. We have uh, graduate homes. We have a program that works. And we have thousands of kids that have gone through this program. And so many of them, they look at Philip and they recognize that their lives are changed because of his commitment to them. Virtually every child that we have here at Hope is a child that came out of some form of exploitation or abuse. The, one of the hidden problems that's not talked about a lot in Brazil is a problem of incest. 
we are story after story, and usually it's a stepfather, the stepfather, one of the favelas where we work, uh, there's about uh, somewhere around 70-80% of the folks in there are single family homes. And there's a stepfather or a boyfriend that is in and out of the home, and over and over again, that person is abusing the little girls. Uh, we went to a home about a year ago, and we're talking to the mother. She'd asked to see us, and we were sat down and we talked to her. She had a daughter that was 13, and she said, every day my boyfriend is raping my little girl. It happens every single night. And we asked her what she was going to do about it. She says, I can't do anything about it. If I go to the authorities, he'll kill me and he'll kill the little girl too. And then he'll disappear. And so she asked us to go to the authorities and, and to talk to them and see what we could do. So our social workers reported her to, to the folks that were in charge. And their question to the social workers were, are you sure she's not 14? No, she's 13. Well, it, what's the issue with being 14? If she's 14, it's no longer a crime. It's considered, even when it's forcible, if they're in the same home, it's still considered consensual once the child turns 14. The social worker's answer was, well, we'll just wait three months and then it won't be our problem anymore. And we see things like that ha happen over and over again. There's a system here that is absolutely broken. And we can't take care of all the kids, but there are some kids that we can really have an impact in their lives. I am the city of hope, hope. I am the city of hope, hope. You and I seen so much in a short time. Live and breathe on these streets like a last trap. Watch the world pass us by. So we play in the dirt, building castles in our minds Cause we got no place to go hey, If you close your eyes, we'll try to rise Above the noise If only for a second a day We could walk where the streets were paved with gold Ooh, City of hope, where the lights shine bright and we pray for the time Someone will hear these tears that we cry In the arms of the Redeemer Grant us salvation and that I am the city of hope I am the city of hope Barricades we call home Tell no lies, every day may be our last And the barbed wire skies, live on faith, hope and the dreams of change Across the lines where the bullets fly through the tin shack alleyways I saw a picture on a wall, of a brother standing tall Crying never surrender And though my hope disappears, unlike these scars and these fears Pray we'll make it out of here alive 